Hey, Germany. You all right? You okay there, Germany? Because this, what you're about to see, is completely up. My name is Dr. Ghassan Abu Sitta. I have just returned from Germany where I had been prevented from entering the country for attending a conference in Germany to give evidence on the war in Gaza and my witness statement uh, as a doctor working in its hospital. They wouldn't even let him get to the conference. They harassed him. They threatened him. They intimidated him, silenced him, listened to what he has to say. So this morning at 10 o'clock, I landed in Berlin to attend a conference on Palestine where I had been asked, along with many um, others in the UK, in the United States and in Europe, to give my evidence of the 43 days that I had seen in the hospitals in Gaza, working in both Shifa and Al-Ahli Hospital. Upon um, arrival, I was stopped at the passport office. I was then escorted down to the basement of the airport where I was questioned for around three and a half hours. At the end of three and a half hours, I was told that I will not be allowed to enter German soil that I will and that this ban will last the whole of April and not just that that if I were to try to set to link up by zoom uh, um, or FaceTime with the conference even if I was outside Germany or I were to send a video of my lecture to the conference in Berlin then um, that would constitute a breach of German law and that I would endanger myself uh, to having a fine or even up to a year of prison. I then was asked at the end to book a flight back to uh, the UK. Uh, my passport was taken away from me and then I only got my passport back as I was boarding the plane. As Germany is defending itself against the Nicaraguan charges that it is an accomplice uh, to the genocidal war as described by the International Court of Justice. This is exactly what accomplices to a crime do. They bury the evidence and they silence or harass or intimidate uh, the witnesses. And so as members of a gang that has committed a heinous crime, Germany is doing its bit in that crime. This crackdown on free speech is a dangerous precedent. We are watching the first genocide unfold in the 21st century. And for Germany to become implicated as an accomplice in silencing the witnesses of this genocide bode, does not bode well for the rest of the century. Please share this because his voice should not go unheard. Hey, Germany. You all right? You okay there, Germany? Because this, what you're about to see, is completely up. My name is Dr. Ghassan Abu Sitta. I have just returned from Germany where I had been prevented from entering the country for attending a conference in Germany to give evidence on the war in Gaza and my witness statement uh, as a doctor working in its hospital. They wouldn't even let him get to the conference. They harassed him. They threatened him, they intimidated him, silenced him, listened to what he has to say. So this morning at 10 o'clock, I landed in Berlin to attend a conference on Palestine where I had been asked, along with many um, others in the UK, in the United States and in Europe, to give my evidence of the 43 days that I had seen in the hospitals in Gaza, working in both Shifa and Al-Ahli Hospital. Upon um, a 